We just launched into a strategy theory session at Mahjong time. We're going to be focused on American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you haven't played at Mahjong time yet, look for my email in the video description below. I do have some 30-day VIP codes so that you can come and try it out. Let's see what we can play here. We have all singles. I love hands like this because it tests your knowledge and skill set on decision making. One of the things I've noticed here is that we have all the nines. We do have two sevens, one six. I'm thinking we could maybe play consecutive six through nine or maybe odds. So let's go ahead and give up a wind and two evens. Let's see if we can do big odds, five, seven, nine, three, six, nine, or like numbers with nines, all using nines. Here's a seven, our first multiple. We also have a red dragon. Not sure if we can use that yet. Let's give up the four. We have six, seven, six, seven, consecutive run, six through nine, consecutive run. I think that's going to be a good category, consecutive run. That would be building around the sevens. Now the dragons, I don't know if we can use that unless we play odds, five, seven, seven, nine, in which case we're gonna need five dots and seven bams because the only dragon hand in odds uses the opposite dragon. Here we were given two eights, like numbers, and that fits into our consecutive run range. Six through nine. Let's give up the four. So we have six through nine, seven, nine, eight, nine. Let's see. Let's give up the six and one of the red dragons, I think, because I want to give myself options with number tiles. They're way more flexible than dragons. So let's focus on seven through nine. We've got a five. Maybe we'll get the dragon back and we could do big odds. I don't know. We need tiles to pass. Five, seven, nine. Five, seven, nine, big odds or consecutive run five through nine. Let's do, let's see, seven, nine, five, seven. The five, seven, nine hand is two suits. We don't need the red. Let's give up the eight crack because we could maybe do five seven dot seven nine bam in the reds if we can get that red dragon back we've got an eight another multiple so building around multiples i think we should go back to consecutive run stay at the category level here seven eight nine three suit kongs Five, seven, seven, nine, let's give up the red. So I'm thinking third hand down under consecutive run. That would leverage both multiples. And we have seven, eight, nine, no gaps. Seven dot, eight, bam, nine, crack. We don't have to commit to that. And we could always use the eights as joker bait and focus on big odds. So we're kind of in between. Look, the red dragon came back. Five, seven, seven, nine. Five, seven, seven, nine. Big odds. Five, seven, dot, seven, nine, bam. Let's give up the red. Let's focus on either big odds or seven through nine. We got tiles to pass. Two, four east. We don't need any of those. So we're in between consecutive run and odds. We're just gonna gather. Oh, they want two tiles. We'll give them the four and the east. There's a year hand that uses wins with twos. So if we give them an east and a four, there's only one hand they can use that for or really two, because there's a quint that uses the wind and a number. All right, we got an eight. We're the dealer, let's get rid of the two. Two dots. 
okay? One dot. So we have seven, eight, nine, eight or nine. big odds, five, seven, nine. East wind. We're just gonna gather. You don't have to pick a hand till you run out of discards. We got a joker, so now we have two. Four I'm dangers. thinking five or seven, eight, nine, Four third nine. hand down, mixed suit Kongs, I think is probably a pretty good choice. East wind. Four bamboos. If we get an eight dot, we could maybe do Two the dots. consecutive run concealed hand. Seven, eight, nine, where the pair of eight in the middle, Red we've got dagger. eight bam and eight crack, but we have a gap with no eight dot, and that's a pair. So you can't use a joker there, Two and there's bamboos. already one eight dot out. So let's just wait and see. Three characters. There's the eight dot. Let's get rid of the five. So oh here's the hand I'm thinking that we could potentially do. Seven, eight, nine, nine with characters. eights. We're going to pass on that. Seven, eight, nine with eights. So we have four discards for that. That's the concealed hand. Three characters. We don't need a wind. So the convention Nine is wind. pung, pair, pung, pung, pung. We have a pair, a single, and then a single nine. We need a nine and, of course, an eight. We got a build up over here. But we do have a pair of eights and an eight. The other thing I was thinking we could do is third hand down, seven, eight, nine, crack. Three different suits. One bamboo. Okay, now we've got, let's get rid of the nine. We've got an nine eight. Bamboos. So now we've got the eights built up. Five characters. Seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, seven nine. dot, eight bam, nine crack, Kongs. We have a f one flower. We have a discard before we really have to make a choice. So let's just keep gathering, see how this goes. We're in between the third hand down or the concealed hand. The weakness at the moment is that we have a single eight dot. That's the only pair in the hand. Everything else is a pung and we can use jokers. Four characters. Six bamboos. So we don't have to make a decision yet. If we go for the consecutive run mixed suit Kong hand, third hand down on the right, we would have to discard Five a pair. Characters. Okay, we got a joker. Seven I characters. think we should go ahead and play the concealed hand. Four dots. Because here we can say maybe these jokers will help out with the eights. Seven characters. All we need here is the eight dot, nine Five dot characters. to fill in. Let's just wait and see what happens. One we dot. really don't have to dedicate those yet. And we have no gaps. Five bamboos. So let's see how this goes. It's just a matter of what we draw. White dragon. Seven, eight, nine in dots with pungs of eights. And this is concealed. Some One people are bamboo. hesitant to play concealed hands, but I do not really consider that as a variable when I make decisions. If you have no gaps and it's a concealed hand, go for it. So now there are two eight dots out. There's only Six one more bamboo. and we need it. So that is what I'm going to base my decision bamboos. on. If the eight dot goes down, we can f do the third hand down on the right. Three bamboos. We still have all the tiles for that hand Four as a backup. Four characters. So let's just see what happens with that eight dot. Seven One characters. of the nice things about, about playing a concealed hand is that you have flexibility to change if your hand goes One dead character. because of a pair that goes out. So when you have exposures, you're committing to a particular 
category or maybe even a hand, especially when you have more than one exposure. Mm -hmm. But if you stay concealed, you can be very flexible and switch your hand. Because you have no exposures, you can really play anything if you have enough time to make the switch. One dot. So right now, we're Two okay. Bamboos. This hand is viable. Two characters. Okay, let's go ahead and commit. Because we're one away. Nine characters. All we need here is any one of these pung tiles or an eight dot. We're one away. Seven bamboos. Now, if the eight dot goes down, we could always switch to like numbers with eights and use the sevens as joker bait. Four bamboos. Two dots. We got the eight. Four good. So we've got our pair now. All we need here, I'm just going to sort because we need a seven dot, nine dot, or eight bam, eight crack, any one of four tiles. Five characters. North wind. One bam, eight bam, eight crack, seven dot, nine dot. Any one of those will Three give us a bamboos. win. And we still have a almost a full wall left. Seven bamboos. Kong. One dot. West wind. Two bamboos. Two dots. Seven dots. There it is. Mahjong. We got it. And this is a bit interesting because the player to my left was in consecutive run using seven, eight, nine. The player to the right, three, six, nine. The player across, year hand, all using nines. So having that nine dot and those jokers helped out. All right, let's see. Really, though, before I move on, I just want to point out, we did not have our pair secured until late in the game. Don't let that stop you from playing a hand that requires a pair. You can always draw into it, but have a plan B. In this case, our plan B was the third hand down, mixed suit Kongs. Let's see what everybody else was doing here. South was playing 369, 3669. It looks like they were in between. Maybe they were trying the pair hand. Uh, the fifth hand down under the pairs. But they had some pungs in here. They could have been in between the second hand under 369 and maybe the pair hand. They were light with their nine dot. We had a nine dot and the player across from the north player had a nine dot also. Everybody had nines. This player needed nine cracks. It looks like a nine crack. The nine crack was over in the 369 hand and maybe in the wall still. There were two nine cracks out. They had news, so they were they were actually ready to win on a white dragon or a one crack. No no no. They needed a nine crack. They were ready to win on a nine crack. Cause they could use the two jokers for the white dragon and the one crack. Then this player here was playing uh, maybe they were trying to play consecutive run with dragons, but they couldn't get eights. I don't know about that. Seven, nine. Yeah, I'm not sure what they were doing there. All right, let me know what you thought about that game. If you like the video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next strategy theory, may all your picks be keepers.